What's up knights, it's the Dab Tab here, and welcome back to the Stomping Land. Now I haven't been playing this for quite some time, because there haven't really been an update. So far at least, and you can still see that there's spawning tons of huge carnivores and... or larger carnivores, medium sized I would rather say, and herbivores. That doesn't really aid me in any bit. But anyway, I was thinking of making this video just because, well, of things that have been said currently on the Stomping Land forums. Because, you know, the creator Jig. He has posted in this month two separate uh, posts. One about an update he was going to do that would improve the gameplay. Maybe like how things don't spawn that often, maybe having the cosmetics update if that's not uh, scheduled for December or something instead, and things like that. And I was like, sure, that could work, and that could be pretty good, because currently the game is pretty hard to actually play, and I would love it to be a little bit easier, but that is not the case. Because of a second post he did. Just a few days ago, or maybe it was a week, I don't remember exactly how long it was, but he made a post saying, well, I will now instead give out the rest dinosaurs that I was going to wait for until the Unreal Engine 4, uh, and just give you them all and test out how they are. And all the animations and that stuff are not complete, but at least you will have more dinosaurs to be with, or something in that area. Like, you will be adding the T-Rex that should have been added ages ago. The only things that won't be added is the Quetzalcoatlus, Titan Boa, the Shantrangosaurus, and something else, if I remember it correctly. Maybe it wasn't, not, maybe the Shantangosaurus was still going to be added, I don't know. Anyway, that's what he said, and all in all, I don't really have a problem with it. The only thing I do have a problem with is the fact that he said two different things for one map for one month, and that none of them have uh, come out so far, and we have only heard from it once. Because, as I said, I want this game to be good. I love it already, but I rarely play it because there's so little you can do so far. Sure. When the dinosaurs do come out, which he has said would be some time between, uh, well, the post and, uh, I think he said something about the Thanksgiving week, which I don't know when that is because I'm not American. And I was still thinking, like, sure, that could be cool if you did that, and if the uh, dinosaurs do come out then I will have a reason to make a video to show off all the new ones, even if they are a little bit buggy. Just like currently the Puertasaurus is, if it's in the game, because I haven't seen it in ages. Are well, you going to go anywhere? Yep, that way. Okay. Just checking. Um, okay, so... all. Add more dinosaurs that I can find, and not sure about the Puertasaurus is in actually in the game anymore because I haven't found it in, well, as I said, ages. And sure, I'm saying and sure a lot because I don't really have a point you can almost say, but the thing is, I would have wanted an improved gameplay first because currently this is a little bit weird, all in all, how it works. And the AI for most of these dinosaurs is not even polished yet. It could, it's, I'm not saying it looks horrible. I'm just saying it could look a lot better. For example, these battles, what are they doing? They're just running around in circles hitting. It's not like they're actually fighting or the dinosaurs aren't trying to work out how to actually take down those dinosaurs or the carnivores being the dinosaurs I'm speaking of, or actually just uh, having a better way of defending themselves because they seem to die all too much. 
an AI update all in all and maybe a few more things for the gameplay itself that would have been better to add first in my opinion but I'm not complaining more dinosaurs is always cool uh, saying he will add the T-Rex is actually kind of scaring me because if you see the Carnos that size is nothing in comparison to a T-Rex And then he, he would also add something like a. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's a walking. Or four. Well, all of them are four legged. Why are you walking in this direction now? I was just going to loot those. But. Uh, what I was going to say. A type of crocodile that walked on four legs. Like the four legged dinosaurs do. That could also be a really scary thing. And I'm not sure what more. Uh, herbivores he has planned oh yeah th then there will be the Austroraptor too which is small which is a smaller predator but will also be a bit terrifying to face and then I think the parahelicoprion will be added as well if I am not mistaken about the entire thing can I make more arrows now I haven't checked what I got um, but as I said, I still like the game, I just wish the improvements would be more standard and that he wouldn't say two things for one month. Instead just keep with the first thing and then leave it at that. That would improve the game so much and I, I could gladly say that I believe firmly that a lot more people would both like the game and return to the game and all of that stuff if your updates came out a little bit more frequent even if some of them may have bugs at least seeing some form of change and seeing it relatively often that would be a pretty good thing and as I said since the last update I haven't seen a single Puerosaurus whenever I played. A single one. I even went onto a server, just uh, a PvE server, just because I don't like to be <clears throat> because I don't like to be killed. But I still didn't get any of those servers. Uh, but I so I asked them, "Have you, any of you ever seen a Puerosaurus since the latest update?" And that was like, well, they're supposed to be in the game, but now that I think about it, I haven't seen one. So with other words, did he remove them again? And if that is the case, then why did you remove them? Because they were a cool addition and they were fun to run around and find apart from when the Carnos were following them constantly but as I said no one has seen a Puertosaurus in ages and he did put them in the game just a few updates back in October I think it was and it's not in anymore for what reason I would like to know I just realized I could shoot a dinosaur myself and hope for feathers. I'm trying to make arrows if you don't know uh, know it already. Because I need a few more. <sighs> and this has just been a huge rambling, this episode about the latest posts. But I feel that some of the people on the forums are not treating it as well as it could have been treated. They aren't even giving giving Jig a chance, but then again, he's not really answering, so it's all his own fault, you could almost say, but still, you should give the developers a chance to do what they want. Sure, the first time took three months before we actually heard something new, and sure, people got sick of it because of that, and now I finally got ugly feathers, but I don't really know how many I needed. So I can understand the rage and the anger and all of the things. What is the recipe? 4, 2, 1. But it's not needed to be on the forum saying, Oh, you suck because you do this and this and this and this bar. 
It's like, I... Why do you have to be like that? He is... I believe like this. Jig is trying his hardest to actually make the game. However, due to feedback, because his former thing about the gameplay stuff, uh, he asked for suggestions about what he wanted to add. And according to what some of the forums said, I didn't actually read everything, but some of the forums said that most suggestions say said, add more dinosaurs to the game, not fix the gameplay. And just because of that, he said, well, let's skip the gameplay thing and instead add more dinosaurs. And it was like, uh, the people that wanted the dinosaurs was both like, Ah, oh, you promised one thing, but now we get more dinosaurs, so it's cool. And, or something like that. And the other, others were like, Why do, are you promising something else when you haven't put out the first one first? It's like, well, he asked for suggestions, and apparently since the suggestions was, We need more dinosaurs, then that takes priority. Would, wouldn't you agree? And I'm not completely on Jake's side here, because my, me myself think it's a little bit bullshit. But I still give him a chance. And I'm not really actually sure this video really brings out a point. I'm just saying... I'm just rambling, basically. About how I consider the entire situation. And who knows, when I uh, upload this video on Thursday, then maybe a, a, an update will be out, and it might not actually have to be uploaded in the first place. You will know if the video is up or not, obviously, but... Is that one alive? I think it is. So, excuse my rambling. Yeah, that's... I just realized something when I got into the water, too, that people were a bit concerned about. Why the dinosaurs are walking on the bottom and not swimming. And I actually have to agree with them on that part. Because normally they should have done this and go swimming on the surface. Because some dinosaurs can't really swim very deep without losing breath and stuff. But walking down here... Is like, what are they doing? And it looks so very weird. Some dinosaurs shouldn't even want to get into the water, and especially when they are adding the parahelicoprion, which means even some of the hunters or humans will not either want to get into the water, especially the ocean. So, there are definitely things that this game needs to be fixed. At or on or something, I don't really know. But there are definitely things that... Uh, there are definitely bugs and similar stuff that can or slash needs to be fixed for the game to be a better game. But if he wants to add the other dinosaurs first, then fine, do it. As long as you focus on improving their AI along with everyone else's and the gameplay for the next one and make sure that the game that you are currently seeing works because if this works then the Unreal 4 engine would or the Unreal 4 engine 1 will probably work too with just a few tweaks so I'm just saying if if you add the dinosaurs first, then go ahead. Just fix the game afterwards, so that it can be fun for everyone. <sighs> I don't know what more I could say about this, because that was basically all I had. Actually... You who are watching this, I don't know you. I don't know who you are. I don't even know if you come from the Stomping Man's forums, or if you're just someone I know from before, or just someone who has subscribed recently. I would want to ask you... About this entire situation I've just... hopefully painted up for you and talked about. What are your opinions? Is Jig doing the right thing? Am I doing something 
wrong in trying to, you could almost say, protect Jig, but I'm not real, I'm just a bit half and half, you could almost say. And what, uh, which of the two updates would you want to come out first? The gameplay one or more dinosaurs? What is the most important one to you? Because as I said, I don't care as long as the game gets updated and becomes better than it actually, than it already is. Which, if I have to be quite honest, is necessary because it, I don't really play it that often anymore because there is nothing really to do. Sure, I play in solo and it's supposed to be played in multiplayer, but I don't like the PvP system. So that's why I don't. So, yeah. Leave your comments about that. All the things, as I said. And I will probably end it here, because I don't really have anything else to do or say. And we have already seen all the dinosaurs that currently are in the game in this video, except for Requerosaurus, that I, for some weird reason, cannot find anymore. So, yeah. As I said, having said all that, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe, and especially the commenting part if you want to tell me your opinions. And a uh, night salute to you. And I will see you next time in whatever video I make. Styracosaurus is everywhere. <laughs>